Good morning and welcome to the Stanford Carbon Management Workshop on Natural Climate Solutions. My name is Sarah Saltzer and I'm the Managing Director of the Stanford Carbon Removal Initiative and I'll be your host for this event. I'd like to start by asking everyone to mute their microphones if they've not done so already. The goal of the workshop is to create a dialogue which will allow us to identify gaps and opportunities for research as well as to come up with technologies and or creative solutions that can bring about further reductions in atmospheric CO2. Yesterday, we had some great talks and some of the, the take home messages included, soils hold large quantities of carbon and there are opportunities to increase soil carbon sequestration with many co-benefits, requiring no new land and using affordable known technologies. Policy movement on forest-based natural climate solutions is happening. We need to take a broad systems level view of the climate related impact of forest ecosystems and the forest sector. Measurement and monitoring are definitely key uncertainties. High throughput, remotely sensed, and model-based quantification are definitely ways forward. It might be possible to partner with private sector to develop new technologies and protocols. We need to avoid unrealistic assumptions when we're scaling up from local to global agricultural natural climate solution potential. And we need to be wary of policy and social feedbacks. The price on carbon could cause great pressures on land conversion for biomass and subsequent food price increases. We need to increase the, integrate these factors into models and design guardrails for net zero policies. I'm certain that these themes will come up again during our presentations today. Today's theme is carbon management and mitigation strategies. And the objective is to look at creative ways to manage carbon and influence the global carbon cycle through research, technologies, and start smart business or management strategies. 